Imagine for a moment that you must leave your home, that there is a catastrophe and you and your loved ones are forced to escape, leaving behind objects, careers, jobs, lives. Otherwise you risk getting hurt or much worse. Imagine that you simply refuse, you and your family decide to stay and bear the consequences no matter how big they are. Good? Well now imagine this happens during the Chernobyl nuclear disaster. As you know, on April the 26th, 1986, reactor number 4 at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in Ukraine exploded. This explosion caused a radiation spill to 155,000 square kilometers, ending the lives of millions of people, not counting the countless animal victims. However, thanks to the Soviet authorities, who although late in taking the necessary measures, managed to evacuate the entire civilian population from the area affected, which today is practically uninhabited. In short, everyone knows this story, whether because of its growing popularity in recent times due to the television series or because of the many rumors circulating about this site. But what you will see today is a story that very few people know, the story of the Koslov family. It is known that on the night of the explosion, the authorities did not react as they should have. Instead, they waited until the next day when the danger was so monumental that the only way to get around it was to evacuate the entire population. That day in the morning, the army and police forces of the Soviet Union went house to house evacuating the inhabitants of Pripyat, a city 3 kilometers from the nuclear plant and then those of the city of Chernobyl, 18 kilometers away. When the Soviet squad arrived at a certain door in one of the residential buildings, they came across the unmoved faces of Razet Koslov and Reniv Koslov, a couple with three children who were not yet 10 years old. The father, Razet Koslov, was a famous history professor who worked all over the Soviet Union. In the midst of all the chaos, the Koslovs strictly refused to leave their home. Due to this, the soldiers tried to take them out of their home by force, but all they did was aggravate their resistance. If we are to die, said the Koslovs, we will die in our home. Faced with the army's orders not to harm anyone, the soldiers, after much discussion, had no choice but to leave the family alone they would notify their superiors and have them take care of the case. And so it was. But one by one, everyone in the chain of command was turned down, despite making the most logical arguments for the safety of the three young children. Finally, as the hours passed, the last evacuation transport for civilians departed. The Koslov family, two adults and three children, had stayed at Chernobyl. While the Soviet authorities struggled to contain the radiation, doing the impossible and losing thousands of lives in the attempt, the Koslov family tried to continue with their lives as normally as possible, ignoring, as far as possible, the hustle and bustle around them. At first, the soldiers and scientists were surprised to see a family strolling through the uninhabited streets of the city, but as the days went by, they became accustomed to their presence. Some even made friends with them. When the nuclear disaster was finally brought under control, after months of hard work, most of the authorities left. From time to time, some went to supervise the construction of the sarcophagus, a concrete structure designed to contain the radiation in Reactor 4, but they were so few and so sporadic that Chernobyl remained deserted. And with this, the Koslov family saw everyone gradually leave the city. But there they were, in their small apartment, watching the passing of the years and the effect of time on nature, the buildings, and themselves. Let's take this moment to explain some things you need to know. The nuclear disaster caused millions of deaths, but only 31 were instantaneous, and these were the lives of the nuclear plant personnel. The rest of the people who died did so sometime later because of terrible outbreaks of cancer and other effects of exposure to radiation. 
There is evidence that in the areas surrounding Chernobyl, wild animals with serious internal and external mutations are living. This point must be stressed. There may be life near the nuclear power plant, but under such amounts of radiation, it is very possible that if you survive long enough, all kinds of mutations will develop. To this day, it is not known exactly what happened to the Kotlov family, but you can imagine. Let's assume for a moment that they managed to survive the very high rates of radiation. Their bodies would begin to change little by little. It wouldn't necessarily change its outer shape, but inside the radiation would have wreaked havoc. Despite this, there is a possibility that the most frightening external mutations also emerged. You may be wondering what all this is about. If no one knows what happened to the Koslovs after they all left, it's obvious they died of cancer or starvation. Well, apparently, 34 years after the Chernobyl catastrophe, there is evidence that the Koslov family is still living in the ruins of the city. Among the ruins, people have found mysteriously tidy corners, as if someone liked to frequent them. Strange paths through rubble and woods. In addition, on the internet you can find many photographs and videos of amateurs and adventurers which capture what seems to be human activity in the city of Chernobyl, where no one is supposed to be. But the most frightening testimony says that those who have managed to see the Koslovs up close say that it can only be compared to standing in front of one of the creatures of the famous painter Beksinski. Their whole body lacks hair, white skin and a hunched walk. But without a doubt, the worst thing is their faces. The lips as white as the rest of the skin. The teeth that have been missing for many years due to radiation. Bear in mind that it has been 34 years since the catastrophe and the three children of the Koslovs, if they're still alive, must be about 40 years old. How were their lives? How was their upbringing? having to fight every day to survive. Was their transformation painful? Well, you might still be skeptical, but when scientists heard so many testimonies, they said that like the animals that managed to adapt, the Koslovs may have developed natural defense mechanisms against radiation. This claim attracted the attention of adventurers from all over the world, who have volunteered to search for the Koslov family's whereabouts. Furthermore, the search was boosted when some years ago, a group of tourists found a homeless man among the ruins of the city. It should be noted that this man was extremely ill, but he was alive. And from what he seemed to relate, he had spent years wandering the desolate streets. But what is more interesting about all this is that he showed some of the features that supposedly radiation had caused in the Koslov family. Loss of skin pigmentation and total hair loss. Now, I ask you personally, do you think the Koslovs managed to survive three decades of continuous radiation? Chernobyl is a scary place, but not as scary as the case of divers who were killed by mysterious beings beneath the depths. If you're interested, here's the video.